I've been doing physical therapy for a long time balance problem due to a chronic illness, and we use a balance board a lot. It's incredibly helpful for anyone athletes, medical needs, people who want to work on core strength, anyone. And there were a million of these online. So I started narrowing down by my needs. There are a lot of round ones that are smaller, and that didn't work for me. If you really want to work on balance for sports, athletic performance, balance problems or core work, you need a bigger board. This one is bigger than a skateboard, but not overwhelming. I also looked at the grip material. And then I looked at the usage. This was not the cheapest one on the market, but what I really like is the flexibility of the different parts that go under the board as you get better or your needs change. I see using this board indefinitely. Note, be careful. It does work on any surface, I've used it on hardwood floors and terracotta tile floors, but don't be a show off. I've had the Revolution Fit 3-in-1 for several months now and love using it. I'm glad I went with the 3-in-1 because I was researching online to find equipment to improve my stability for running long distance, snowboarding and potential surfing lessons. The semicircular foam roll functions well as the stability wedge when paired with the board, saving me the trouble of shelling out an indecent amount of money just for a separate stability wedge. Same thing goes for the inflatable wobble pad. Paired with the roller, the Revolution board offers similar function to the end of the board, which I also bought and tested out. I would say as a beginner user of such types of boards, I felt safer with the Revolution board because the diameter of its roller is smaller than the end of the board, but offers the same freedom of movement because there are no guide tracks on the bottom of either boards. There are small wooden pieces beneath both boards near the top and bottom edges, which prevent the roller from rolling completely out from under the boards when you are on it, so that's good. The Revolution board since foam surface lining is nicer to stand on barefoot and has a similar width to a snowboard or skateboard. It's say the endo board has a shape similar to a mini surfboard and has a rougher sandpaper like texture. When I'm on the Revolution board, it challenges my abdominal and leg muscles to maintain tone and improves my dynamic balance abilities. I also tend to use the Revolution board indoors more because I don't feel that it would pitch me far off the board if I were to lose balance on it versus with the end of board, which has a higher incline due to the wider roller. Love my Revolution board. A versatile, great product for the price. I'm using it for agility and in balance training and preparation for the upcoming snowboard competition season. I use it at work while on conference calls and aim to become so well balanced that I can type while balancing. After only 3 days of use, I'm already feeling the burn in those stabilizing muscles. The product is well designed and manufactured with quality materials. I'm very satisfied with this purchase. Okay enough delaying the inevitable these board rocks, literally and figuratively. I love it and I can't stay off of it I'm at my desk sitting right now and it's under my feet I'm balancing, albeit slightly, while on my butt. I've had it now for 10 days. BRBR, so what makes this board different or better than the other boards? The design and the company. The Revolution Fit Board design, IMHO, is nearly identical to a skateboard or snowboard, so a semi tired boarder like myself can hop on it without much fuss. But if you are not a former boarder, don't let that stop you. The design cut of the board is more approachable than the woods you'll come across. It's wider and just sticky enough with or without shoes. BRBR with regards to the company, spot on great product and great customer service. BRBR background BRBR I've got a torn meniscus due to T25 insanity. Went to 3 DRS, MRI. They all recommended physical therapy but my Cairo went a step further and gave me a prescription workout, which was cool handy. One of the reoccurring exercise themes is balancing and they call for and use the BOSU in their workouts. Which is fine I have one, but they also use a smaller BOSU and balance board. I liked the concept of a standing desk until I tried to stand for a few days. My feet hurt. My knees locked up. I tried lunges, squats, and calf raises, but to raise only so many you can do while trying to type. I researched under desk treadmills, standing ellipticals, and steppers. The good treadmills are expensive, and hauling a 100-pound piece of machinery into the office seemed like a challenge. Plus, I didn't want to haul it out for maintenance. I hate ellipticals and steppers in the gym, so it seemed stupid to buy one for a desk. Then I realized people use balance boards. Genius. Nothing to break, nothing to maintain. It keeps your knees soft, and it lets you fidget. 
Mixing and calf raises and squats while reading email is easy, especially with a desk to grab if needed. I really love using this board. It's very good quality and has helped improve my balance. It's fun to use too. I try to do it while I'm brushing my teeth sometimes or watching TV. I even lay down on it to do my homework instead of sitting at a desk. This kit is the best combination balance board and roller board I could find on Amazon. I've tried out all three different variations, and they are great. Beware that the roller board is the most challenging, and you've got to be a real pro to try it on anything but shag carpets. BRBR The reason for the 4 star review rather than a full 5 stars is that the half moon foam rocker piece is simply solid foam. The roller piece is plastic and feels durable. The wobble piece is the jelly-like material that wobble pads, bosa balls, and Swiss balls are made of durable enough for its intended use. But it looks and feels like the foam they use to make the rocker piece is the same they make yoga blocks and those body rollers for muscle stretching. I think it should be made of hard plastic and coated with foam or rubber if needed for grip or traction. I question the long-term durability of using foam as a fulcrum. I want to start off by stating I am brand new to using any type of balance board. I never surfed. I never skateboarded. I went snowboarding once and it did not go well and that was when I was 15 and in the best shape of my life. Skip ahead 30 years to today and I work at a desk 10 hours a day and I am starting to feel it. I decided to invest in a standing desk and this to try and be a little more active while I am working. I got the product quickly and the second it arrived I unpacked it and set it up for level 1. I love it. I don't even have the desk set up yet so I am watching TV and balancing because I want to use it now. It is so much more fun and challenging than I thought it would be and I am sure I will be sore tomorrow. Immediately I can feel my glutes, calves and quads engaged even more than my core. I can't wait to keep using it and get to level 2 and 3. I also can't wait to use this with my yoga workouts. This may be one of the best fitness purchases I have made in a long time and using it puts a huge smile on my face. This is a really awesome set of bases for a high quality board. I had just read Anatomy for Runners highly recommended for any and all runners serious about improving form and biomechanics, and Jada Sherry the author talks about the place for rocker boards balance boards for improving strength and of course, balance. The board pictured in the book is the Voodoo Zone, which was where I started my hunt for a balance board. I loved how it had three bases. BRBR Voodoo is however out of stock of the zone board until next year, and I was very eager to get started on implementing this supplemental training to improve my runner. I spent over six months this year sidelined from running because of a knee injury. I thought I just had bad knees, but reading Anatomy for Runners helped me see it was more about my form and underlying weaknesses. So investing in a high quality training tool was very worthwhile to me. BRBR this fit board I have found to be a high quality product. Unlike some boards like for instance those by Voodoo, the bases do not lock onto a railing system under the board. This makes it more versatile in my opinion. Burberry use the rocker base for ankle strengthening as well as squats, the wobble platform also for ankle and foot strengthening. Like this product very much because it makes my otherwise phony and couched on want to got side children move. My 11 year old got excited the moment it was opened, and went straight to the roller. My 15 year teen got curious enough to try it and look for videos to create a workout. Throughout the day, they both use it from 515 minute increments and try to tame the board by making sure it doesn't touch the ground. Rolling motion makes it really fun for them. BRBR quality is good. Board is heavy and sturdy. Time will tell how long it lasts with four people using the board. My hope is that this board will create an interest in doing more physical activities.